can be truly hard to be purely excited for a movie these days, to just go into the cinema and know with the utmost confidence that you see something great and something that you enjoy in its fullest. This has become a very, very difficult thing to feel nowadays with all the failed hype, with all the misleading from movies and movie companies alike, leaving you just disappointed that you ever had hopes for a movie. Well, Deadpool and Wolverine was not that. This was pure pure joy in its fullest. This was old school. This is old style, delivering on its promise, giving you what you want and making you enjoy every minute that you spend in that movie theater, laughing, tearing up, being gripping on your seat and just waiting for the next scene and being excited for everything that's happening in front of your eyes. Good day, ladies and gents. My name is Helzo and I'm discussing. And this morning I woke up with a fresh mind from what watching Deadpool and Wolverine last night at the cinema. Now, I wanted to wait even a bit longer, however, I don't think I'll get a clearer view than this because I had time to process what I saw, and I gotta say, it was amazing. It was absolutely joyful in its fullest. Now, I think that there are some people that would be disappointed at this movie because they might expect a bit more of an impactful storyline, a bit more of a serious and well-developed antagonists, villains, and uh, the whole plot. Well, in terms of that, Deadpool does not do as well as you might think. I mean, the plot is pretty sta straightforward and on the surface is not that interesting. And with the villain and antagonists and some, some plot developments not be as serious or as well flushed out as someone might think. However, this is actually intentional in my opinion because this is a movie solely dedicated to bringing two great friends, two amazing characters together and giving them the best time of their lives. This is a buddy movie with a lot of blood. Because this is a non-spoiler review, I'll just give you the overall plot of the movie. Wade Wilson has settled down in his universe. He's got a normal life. He has a peaceful existence in the world, hanging up the mantle of Deadpool. Then he's approached by the TVA who want him for a great mission and want him to matter and become something of a stuff of legends that he supposedly has to become. As you might have guessed, things don't go so well and he's off to find a Wolverine who would help him save his world, his universe and his family. Of course, he finds a Wolverine who's beaten down by life, who's depressed, who's an alcoholic and who just doesn't want to live anymore. Over the course of the movie, things generally start moving up and the Wolverine is getting back on his track of being who he really is, slowly but surely remembering who he is supposed to be and his role in the universe and how he matters. It's pretty hard to not talk about spoilers for this movie because the plot, although it may seem shallow, it's made so because it is the background of what really matters and that's Deadpool and Wolverine's interaction and they're moving across the worlds and just solving the crisis that is at hand. While truthfully, the intentions and intelligence of the villain of the story arc is very questionable. It is a nod to how Marvel is currently writing most of their movies and Deadpool has no problem just ripping that apart and just showing it to the viewers. The, the movie's tone and the overall feeling can be summed up in the first seed, and I mean the first minute and a half. And when you see that, when you see that scene, you already know what kind of a movie you're about to watch. And I gotta say, the first seed is the thing that got the whole room excited and laughing and screaming at the screen in, ex in absolute euphoria, because it was 
amazing to to see what they have done the movie wastes no time with the action scenes with the development of the story it might feel a bit rushed because it just has to move along however again the plot line is not the main focus of the movie deadpool and wolverine are and it all revolves around them i actually believe that the movie might not need an overall plot line if they had put those two together and just going around doing random stuff the movie would be almost as successful however it has a lot more of them i personally like cassandra nova's character portrayal even though it, it wasn't as deep as i would have liked she did made an amazing performance her presence was very very imposing and her powers and the way she used uses them are very creepy and very graphic if i might say but the main thing that deadpool and wolverine does amazingly and simply incredibly is the cameos all the cameos that I could have wished for, maybe wishing for one or two more, were there. And they were there in an amazing manner uh, with very good portrayal and very good homage of uh, heroes of the past. That's all I'm going to say. And giving them a very nice sort of ending to their portrayals of their characters in the past. The movie gives you exactly what you would want to feel the euphoria and the amazing feelings of pure movie viewing joy it's made for this and ryan reynolds knew this when the movie was made and hugh jackman knew this as well and their performances are absolutely amazing to me personally all the jokes landed and even some of the scenes and the funny skits that lasted a bit longer than normal and could feel a little bit dragged on were still plated with amazing stuff happening in the background or afterwards that gave them so much more content and such more joy than it would be if they had been left just as they are i didn't feel that anything or anyone overstate their welcome i do wish some things lasted longer god it's really hard not to get into spoilers but i will i will have a spoiler talk probably i'm gonna stream it but the whole concept of the movie is to bring you pure viewing joy and to shit on marvel on a very very large scale because the the, the things that deadpool says in this movie are absolutely amazing and they portray all of our feelings towards recent movies towards what marvel has been doing towards what disney has been doing and it's amazing because it's right in the face direct without any omitting any soft language anything that is currently happening in the movies it's just straightforward an F you to all the things that are happening and just showing Marvel and showing this and showing any company that is trying to do a superhero movie how it's done. This is the superhero movie of the last six years. I have not wanted to go immediately back and watch a movie a second time since Endgame and Infinity War. And this is an amazing feat because this is what a movie is supposed to be. It's supposed to bring enough joy and enough stuff that you can watch again and again and just enjoy yourself on several occasions not just go and see a movie and then forget all about it and not even look back overall deadpool is an absolute gem and it showed marvel how it's done and what they're missing will it save the mcu no but i don't think this movie was intended to save or even bring uh, mcu back from the grave it's just a movie that's showing everyone how you are supposed to do movies it doesn't want to do anything more it's not set out to become more than it is it's just fun it's amazing 
And it, it's something that will stick in the heads of all the fans for a very long time. And it will be a reference point whether or not they're serious or whether or not they just want to present us with cool action scenes. So anyway, that's my spoiler-free review for Deadpool and Wolverine. Tell me what you think down in the comments. Did you see it? Are you going to see it? What you think about the plot? Tell me. Press the like and subscribe button. Follow me on my socials and I'll see you later. Cheers and stay fresh.